Ladies and gents, welcome to the journalist DJ.com. Next to me, I've got Pelela, aka Baby Sun. Baby, who, baby? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling incredible. You know, just gave a beautiful performance in my say. And yeah, man, I'm enjoying my time. Right now. Yeah. You know, man, today we're here because you're launching a project. But before we get into that, man, you know, um, I want to get to know, you know, Baby Sun. You know, we've seen your name uh, being featured by by various artists, right? Yeah. You're you're a you know you're not a ghost songwriter. You're a songwriter, right? Yeah. And you've written, you've written a lot of songs for many people. Yeah. Briefly, bro, just mention like some of the hit songs that you've written and for which artists. Yeah. Um, I've written for Blackie on Sondela. Uh, Bobby Cooper is Pity Pity. Uh, Bobby Cooper, Bambelela with Darren Goko. Um, AKA Lemons Lemonade. Um, I've written for Ricky on Ilanga, but I'm also featured there. Um, and I've written for a lot of people. I can't, I can't remember all of them, but like a lot of people. Most recently, Dali, right? Yeah, yeah. Most recently, Dali with uh, Kamu Pelo, where I wrote and also sang on it. Yeah, man, it's been a it's been a journey. As you can see, with more and more and more I do the writing, I'm starting to become a feature more and more, which means that I'm just stepping into the light a bit more. Yeah, yeah. And I just discovered a new artist called Luna Ray. She just dropped a single called yeah. Girls on a Fan, and yeah. I'm like, oh, you wrote that one as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stepping out. Like, yo, catch me outside in America now. Uh, UK sounds. Yeah. Uh, Ghana, Nigeria. Yeah. That's where I'm trying to be. That's where I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm pitching my music too now. That's, I'm trying to enter the world space. So, yeah, man. Luna Ray, shout out. Go stream, man. Go on have fun. <laughs> Yo, man, I love that song. But now, let's talk about you being an artist by accident. Because you, you're a corporate dude, man, you know? Yeah. And I even, on my first interview, I said, uh, I, I knew him before he was an artist. And then he called me as a financial advisor, you know? <laughs> and now he's an artist. How did you become an artist going from corporate to being an artist? Man, it, it, it just felt draining being in a corporate position. Mm. It, it didn't feel right. I was also like a bit depressed. Mm. But it comes to show that that was my purpose and that it wasn't my journey. Mm. Actually, it was part of my journey, but it was my purpose. Mm. So the fact that I'm here right now making music, like I even cry right now because I was, I was realizing that, damn, it, it, this, this has been a crazy journey. God saw this, foresaw this so long ago that for me to be here right now, it's just, it's crazy. And you know, my assumption is that you were more comfortable writing being behind the scenes. Yeah. And then now you you are like, what gave you the courage to be like, yo, I can also be on stage? I won't lie, my friends. My friends are just like, yo, you're wasting a good talent, something given to you. You have a great voice, you can perform live, just do it. So that's yeah. what I've been doing, you know, trying more and more. That's hence the album, you know, just to yeah. say, yo, I actually can sing and I make good music and I've I've written good music before, but now this is where we are. I'm presenting myself as an artist, yeah. Yeah. Now let's let's get into the album, man. You know, baby son, baby who, you know, um, the 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 title, what inspired it, and what can people expect from the album? I think the title was inspired by this whole conversation of us just looking back at the stuff that I've done and people not knowing my face. So I, I literally blasted my face on the cover and then wrote baby who, so that you it can arise the question. But when you listen to the music, you'll find out that. Who's baby son? You know, you'll catch the real me in the lyrics, in the melodies, and the stories that I'm telling there. You know, in songs like it's, it's Akila Yam, people might listen and think it's a groove song, but I'm actually talking about a lot, like not wanting to be involved in problems at home, and I'd rather just have fun, which is what most of our society does. You know, we rather drink than deal with the pain. So I'm, I'm just tackling a lot of issues and just saying who I am. I'm a conscious human being. I'm a loving person. I'm a caring person. I've been played with, I've been heartbroken. You know, you'll find out who Sun is in, in that project, yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about the features, man. You know, today on stage you had uh, Tandon J, you had Mr. Brown, you mentioned Raspi as well. Yeah. Which artists did you work with and why those artists? Damn, I worked with a lot of artists. There's also seen him sold on Natural, mm-hmm. uh, Sticks, Calvin Momo. Um, who, uh, who am I forgetting? Um, uh, Sway, Yams, that's the family. Um, I worked with a lot of people, but mostly I worked with people that I felt like 
obviously people that could give that have given me a voice before and people I felt like I could give a voice to now. Mm. People that I felt like I'm UK. My OGs, Ricky, Keaton, gave me a chance when I was a nobody, you know? Mm. So I'm, I'm not saying I'm somebody right now, but I'm saying with the little influence that I have, let me bring someone else along into the picture, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love that, man. I love that story. Uh, you know, from being having a dream of being a corporate CEO of a major <laughs> bank uh, to being now in the artist, I mean, being the industry as an artist, to where to from here, man? Hey, man. Just trying to hit the global stage. That's, that's the main focus right now. Just yeah. trying to hit the global stage. We already started with songs like Dali, you know. Yeah. They open up doors, they open up conversations, mm-hmm. you know. So let's just continue pressing on towards that direction, yeah. Yeah. And also, man, you know, before we wrap up, tell me a bit about the business world of being a songwriter, right? Because I think a lot of people, it's a space that there are opportunities, you know, because you write for a lot of artists. Is there a career? Can you survive on it in SA? And how do someone get into it if they don't necessarily want to be in the spotlight? You can definitely survive on it. Don't let them lie to you. It's a slow game. Publishing is a slow game. That's where songwriters live in the publishing space. It's a very slow game, but trust me, once you hit that three years of being in the industry, having cooked and getting those small commissions from time to time, Trust me, when it starts rolling in, it's rolling in. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. And just stay it down. Put your head down, man. You stop making hits and make good music. Yeah. Yo, man, is there anything else that you want to say to your fans out there? Anybody that's looking uh, at this interview, seeing you for the first time, seeing the face, what do you want to say to them? Hey, man, there's another project coming. I won't say when, but it's another 10 tracks with a with young boy called Zani. Yeah. And, man... That bad boy is talented and I'll be doing a lot more of that. I'll be dropping a lot of music this year. This yeah. year is still young for me. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. still going to do a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Let's okay. go. I know. Thank you, man. Yo, it's the channel is DJ.com, you know, with another exclusive.